Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS YouTube channel. This is JJ once again and we're bringing you something pretty cool this time around. Instead of our kind of normal overview or deep dives uh, in terms of the different products that we have on the market, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a kind of quick tip and breakdown on something new. Uh, if you guys have checked out a recent video that we posted on our F2A85 series motherboard, uh, the F2A85-V Pro, um, one of the cool things that actually exists on this new chipset, the A85 chipset and the latest generation of the APU uh, processor is going to be support for a new memory profile. Uh, AMD co-worked with a couple of different memory partners on the market to actually enable a new memory standard that has been specifically optimized and tuned for their integrated memory controller to be able to provide you guys better performance. As always, ASUS is pretty much at the forefront of the industry to make sure that we have the best interoperability, compatibility, and performance tuning to go along with this memory. So that's what we're going to cover here in this video is a little bit actually at how this memory is different uh, than your standard memory that's on the market and how to actually quickly enable it on your F2A85 series motherboard. So just quickly to give you a little bit of a breakdown of how memory exists right now in the marketplace is uh, what a lot of people don't know is that the majority of memory that exists right now on the market is specifically tuned and optimized for the Intel memory controller. Uh, the disadvantage with that is, is that not necessarily all the presets that will work on that memory, whether they're the actual SPD values or whether they're the, what's sometimes referred to as the XMP or extreme memory profile values will optimally work. Now we do spend a lot of time to actually tune our motherboards to ensure the best interoperability with these type of modules. And actually, we have an exclusive feature called DOCP, which allows us to take XMP memory profiles and load them onto an AMD compatible platform. Uh, an example of a, a great memory kit that you're going to normally be able to find on the market would be like this. This is a DDR3-1600, a 4 gigabyte DIMM, and it's 1600 based off of an XMP profile. So what that means is that by default, if you don't do anything, you just plug this into the motherboard, it's only going to work at 1333, not at actually 1600. Uh, but if you enable the XMP profile, you get that enhanced uh, speed and you get all the defined voltages and timings and all, those, all that uh, good stuff that goes along with that, especially considering that memory bandwidth it actually helps to improve the performance of the graphics processor. So once again, what I mean by that is you're going to get better frame rate the faster memory that you have on this type of platform. New to this generation, we actually have something really nice, uh, which is this brand new type of memory, uh, which is the AMP memory standard. So uh, specifically here we have um, some AMP Performance Edition memory. This is actually from Patriot, and they uh, co-worked uh, very closely with AMD to do hand testing, binning, and tuning to the ICs to optimally work with the actual memory controller that is on these latest generation series of uh, APUs. So the great thing about this is we can get better performance and we're going to show you how to quickly actually enable this functionality within our UEFI. It's going to be very straightforward and that's going to allow us to go ahead and take advantage of this memory profile. So this is specifically 1866, Cas9 and at 1.5 volts. So you won't have to worry about defining any of those parameters. The AMP memory profile is going to take care of that for you. So from here, let's actually go ahead and jump into the UEFI and show you how to do this. You can see that we've gone ahead and entered into the UEFI, pretty straightforward. Now we actually have the standard memory that actually has the XMP memory profile on it. You can see that by default uh, it's actually loaded at 1333. So all we're going to do is quickly show you how to enable the DOCP option that we discussed in the advent that you uh, use XMP based memory. All you would need to go is to the AI overclock tuner, select DOCP, and you can already see that it's got profile 1. We would select that option, hit F10, and that's it. Very straightforward process. We've gone ahead and installed our Patriot AMD memory, Performance Edition 1866 memory modules. And uh, we've gone ahead and just have the board loaded up with F5 UEFI defaults. Now, one thing that is different is you'll actually see that this memory does default to a base value of actually 1600, as opposed to 1333. But that's still not the optimal uh, memory timings, voltage, or frequency that has been defined by Patriot and by AMD uh, for these kits. So we can quickly verify that information just by uh, pressing F3 and heading over to our DRAM SPD information. And you can actually see right here that it does show us that there's an AMP memory profile, which is actually what we want to go ahead and load. So all we're going to need to do from here is uh, head over to our AI tweaker, select AMP, and then from there, you can see that it automatically designates that information. It will apply the timings and the corresponding voltage. We hit F10 and we're good to go. And from here, now you can see that the board has booted up uh, at the new correct 1866 frequency. So that wraps up 
how to enable AMP on your F2A85 series motherboard. That wraps it up. A uh, very short video for you guys. We just wanted to be able to give you a little bit of perspective on how to be able to take advantage of this awesome new uh, memory profile that has been enabled by AMD along with Patriot and their new performance edition AMD memory modules. And of course, how you can execute and enable this AMP memory profile on your ASU series motherboard. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this, specifically these kind of, kind of quick tips and things along these lines, please make sure and let us know via the comment section here on the page or feel free to head over to Facebook or Twitter. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure and subscribe.